The project's name is Beanbag Force. We are in Mr. Vandershoot's first period physics class. Hello, my name is Arturo Ortiz. My name is Stephanie Bautista. My name is Mariana Gutierrez. My name is Eduardo Martinez. My name is Carolina Solis. The purpose of the project Beanbag Force is being able to find the force that brings the beanbag to a stop. We had to throw the beanbag across the ground from the starting line to where it stops down the length of the hallway and do calculations of the friction force and the coefficient of the friction. Newton's first law is talking about how an object will have zero acceleration if all forces are canceled. Zero acceleration can be seen when a, when an object is at rest or when the object is traveling with a constant speed. Newton's second law states that acceleration of any object is due to an unbalanced force which is left over and did not cancel. This force is called the net force. The second law formula for for this is F, F net equals MA, where F net is the sum of the force, M is the kilogram mass of an object, and A is the acceleration of, an, of, of the object. Keep in mind that acceleration may be negative on the net force, and the actual acceleration are always in the same direction. And our central question was if the net Newton's first law tells us that an object will stay in motion, then why does the object uh, come to a stop? The materials we will be using for this lab include a beanbag, meter stick, stopwatch, balance, camera, notebook, calculator, and pencil. We will measure time and displacement with our final velocity being zero for the beanbag. To accomplish this, one of our group members will take a few steps steps back from our starting line in the style of bowling and slide the bag along the floor, along with one member ready to time and another to film. Lastly, the last member will carefully measure the distance in meters from the starting line to where the beam bag came to a complete stop. We then will determine our final result. From the data table shown before, I am using the average numbers to solve for the initial velocity and the acceleration. First, I plugged in for delta x 8.35 and for final velocity 0 and for initial, well it's unknown, unknown. so for time I put 1.82. Then I had to divide 1.82 to both sides and then I got 4.59 and then I divided half and got 9.2 which that's our initial velocity and after that for acceleration I plugged in 0 for final velocity and for initial I put 9.2 which is what we got and time 1.82 then I subtracted 9.2 negative 9.2 to both sides and then divided 1.82 and got negative 5.05 for acceleration Once I solve for the initial velocity and acceleration, I can calculate the F net using F net equation mass times acceleration. I plugged in for mass 0.8 and for acceleration negative 5.05 and got negative 4.04 newtons once I multiply them together. Then to solve for weight using FW equals mass times gravity, I plugged in uh, 0.8 and 9.8 and got 7.84 newtons once I multiplied both together. And finally, just solving for mu using the frictional equation, which is F of F equals mu times Fn. And I plugged in 7.84 for Fn and 4.04 for F of F. Then I divided 7.84 to both sides and got 0.515 the results were not surprising at all. A heavier beanbag will need more friction and more force when throwing the beanbag creates more acceleration. The mean acceleration of the beanbag for each throw was 5.05 meters per second squared. This means that the force of friction on the beanbag was about negative 4.04 newtons each time. 
The two things that determine the strength of a fr friction force are the grabbiness of the two surfaces and the weight force, which is equal to the normal force. The coefficient that represents the grabbiness of the surface of the beanbag and the floor is 0.515. In conclusion, we had a dual lab which includes our central question that states, if Newton's first law tells, uh, tells us the object will stay in motion, then why does the object come to a stop? We had to find the force of friction acting on the beanbag, which we had to slide across the hallway. We also had to make some calculations on the friction force and the coefficient. Newton's first law shows how an object will have zero acceleration if all the forces are canceled. Newton's second law states how many object is an unbalanced force which is left over and did not cancel, which the leftover force is called net force, which in the end we have to keep in mind that acceleration may be negative and the net force and the acceleration are always in the same direction. Professor. <laughs> okay, okay, stop, stop. 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 Thank you.